when I first became ill, I was work, work here, working at home. I used to play a prog rock channel on the radio and the, a song called All of the Above by Transatlantic came on and it just blew me away. I'd never heard a 30 minute progressive track before and it, it, I just thought, I've got to know about these guys. And so I went off to uh, following each of the bands and I, I got into Spock's Beard and then Neil's Music from that one song. Neil's music has helped me through a lot of challenges in my life. Last night's show is my favourite album. It's intensely personal. After so long of trying to ask and find out, seek questions, answers, I suddenly realised the answer to everything. You are the temple. And my life changed at that time and Neil's been a uh, support ever since. The first time I heard of Neil Morse is when I got in contact with Paul. And I've always been a massive Mike Portnoy fan. And uh, Paul said to me, have you ever heard any Transatlantic? And I said, no. I looked for Transatlantic on uh, YouTube and the first song I found was Shine from the Kaleidoscope album, which is a story too. And um, I just loved it. From Transatlantic I moved on to Flying Colours and then Neil Morse himself. This experience coming here is, I'm, I come from memory of course, Carer. I wrote the song after leaving Paul Hanley's house. And I, had, I thought it'd be great, but it's exceeded expectations. The, the spiritual side of it and the fellowship and the feeling, like this morning, you know, in the acoustic session, it was just the warmth that you feel and the goosebumps are there all the time. <laughs> Tuesday, you're okay. I was ill, been ill for a while. I'd missed uh, a transatlantic show. Um, Neil was coming to the UK with friends, Todd Morrell um, and Jonathan Goodwin. And um, he said, right, we're going to go and see Paul. And we had a glorious time, glorious time. I have a, a marvellous picture of us all together where there is a shining light. There's like it's the spirit is with us, reflecting above us. And so we shine while this moment slips away from us. Shine while the skies are turning grey. And uh, it, was, it was a magnificent meeting for me personally. Um, and it was only a long, long time later I found out that that inspired him to write Shine. And um, like I say, I even heard the song out and saw the video before I even knew it was for me. But I was listening to it and it, it, it had an attachment, I felt it. I, it, it made sense to me. And then when I, he actually said, well, I'd written it following our meeting. Awesome. I mean, what, how humbling is that? One of the world's greatest pop musicians writes a song based on you. And it blows me away every time. The world lives in you. Then no matter where you go, don't you let the darkness know. To get to play this music now with such an amazing message, that's what I love about this music is no matter where we go, I mean, we'll be in the middle of Europe somewhere and maybe they don't even speak our language or anything. And there's just moments in this music where it's just so, I mean, uh, you'll see people out there just weeping in the middle of, you know, an epic. And it's like, it's really cool. Not only is the music phenomenal, but the message behind it is just amazing. I think I just saw one the other day, I think it was a post on Facebook or something about, maybe it was, I don't, I'm not sure which album, but how that album, you know, helped, helped them through a super difficult time, and I just think it's amazing that music can do that for people, I mean, who knows what they're going through, and it, if it can help pull one person through a difficult time, and 
you know, come out, you know, on the other end, you know, with a positive outlook on life and that message gets through the music to that, even if it's one person, it's, it's phenomenal to see people touched by, you know, something you have a hand in is really neat. I really feel like the Lord is at our backs, you know, like wind, you know, pro propelling us forward. And I think this is something that He really wants, and that's, that's what I'm most excited about. You know, we can play good music. There's a lot of good musicians, and there's a lot of good music out there. But uh, I'm looking for that, some, that extra something that God adds, and when He comes in, then that changes everything. That's, that's, that's the new place. That's the, the wow factor. To me, that, that's the, He's the wow factor. The thing that I think is most important to me, particularly about Neil's music, is the spiritual nature of it. The, the guy writes from a perspective and has the heart of someone that, uh, that loves God, you know, and the music reflects that. So I listen to it in the midst, particularly, of not only when I'm happy, but when I'm, I'm having a difficult time, it brings me through, man. It's, uh, it's really that important to me. So, you know, God bless Neil.